A state representative tells CBS4 that he is being blackmailed to resign. Steve Lebsog denies the sexual harassment allegations that are lodged against him. State Representative Lebsog is emotional. He wants to set the record straight. And he denies the accusations against him. Three women accuse Lebsog of sexual harassment. One of them, Representative Faith Winter, went public with her claims, also filed a formal complaint. The two other women signed their first names to it. Jamie Leary heard Lebsog's side of the story during a 40-minute interview at the state capitol today. And Jamie, he did have a lot to say. He did. He says he hasn't slept in days. He is very emotional and feels he hasn't been given due process, which is why he decided it was finally time to address some of these accusations and come forward with a big statement. I'm extremely sorry that um, they feel hurt. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to even say my side of the story. And there's a legislator out there that is willing to come forward at the right time. That legislator has yet to back him up. Still, Lebsock denied Cassie Tanner's allegations entirely. In a second case... We enjoyed each other's company, and we became friends. He did recall one conversation they had at a restaurant, but said she initiated it. She was telling me about her relationship, her sexuality, orgasms, and I'm not going to say any names. But, and then I responded, well, maybe I can help you with that. And it was just kind of in kidding. And she laughed and said, isn't that what interns are for? And I said, no, Holly, that's not what interns are for. Lebsog wouldn't go into detail on the only formal complaint filed from Representative Faith Winter. He did say he looks forward to going through the process and hopes the two, together or separately, can educate people on sexual harassment. And we can talk about it openly, about um, sexual harassment, about feelings, about how men may perceive things different than, than women. As for right now, Lebsock gave no indication he's ready to resign. He has a message for those, including the governor, who've called him to step down. Governor, do the right thing and allow me to have due process. While he calls his current work environment a hostile place, he has not taken his name out of the running for Colorado State Treasurer. In fact, he plans to make an announcement on November 30th. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.